get to more local news that matters right now. About 100 residents of an assisted living facility in Jacksonville are staying in hotels right now after their power went out over the weekend. Staff at Jacksonville Towers have been delivering meals three times a day. One resident says management told them it may take until Friday for them to go back. Until then, police will be providing security for those buildings. $20 million in CARES Act funding has been approved to cover emergency leave for school employees who test positive for the coronavirus while on the job. This will allow teachers and support staff to take up to two weeks of paid leave. It will be available if they need to quarantine for COVID-related reasons. Each district will decide if an employee is eligible for the leave based on ADH guidelines. Isolation is required for any employee who tests positive. Arkansas's Isaiah Joe is in the NBA draft again because of the uncertainty with COVID-19. He believes it is best for his future to redeclare for the draft. He worries the college season could be canceled and doesn't want to miss out on playing. Totally understandable, but we will miss him. The Southwestern Athletic Conference postponed football season until the spring, which means UA Pine Bluff will start its season in February. Their first home game will be at home said home game February 27th against Texas Southern. The season is expected to run through April. The championship game is scheduled for May 1st. And we have a news update. The North Little Rock School District announced its next superintendent. The Board of Education selected Greg Pileski after a virtual community forum last night. Right now, he is the deputy superintendent of a school district in Maryland. An official start date will be discussed during contract negotiations later this week.